In 2019, the devs announced game modes were coming to Jailbreak, and that got me really excited. Unfortunately, from the very beginning, game modes were not executed very well, and they only got worse with time, ultimately culminating in their removal in August 2021. I truly believe game modes are the biggest example of wasted potential in Jailbreak, but I don't think they're beyond salvation. As the devs look for ways to improve Jailbreak and make it more interesting, I think the reintroduction of game modes could make things a lot more fun. However, they would need a lot of change to make sure they don't fall into the same traps that game modes did when they were first added. Without further ado, let's get started. So right off the bat, game modes had a huge problem in that they costed Robux to buy. Initially, you needed to buy a VIP server to even start them, and that cost 200 Robux. Though of course, they added an option for people to play them in public servers. However, to even start them, one person would need to buy a token for Robux. And this was unfair because everybody else who participated didn't need to pay Robux. Frankly, I don't believe a feature like this should be locked behind paying actual money. I think it should be available for all people. So right off the bat, I would add a variety of ways for people to get tokens to activate game modes. Maybe you could earn some from saves or robbery rolls. Maybe you could even earn some alongside seasons, though I would prefer if they were included with prizes at like, say, level 3 or something, so I wouldn't want a whole slot devoted to just tokens. Also, one thing I would change is that I would require every player participating to spend a token. Not just the person who kicks it off. I think everybody should sacrifice a token to make it fair. Even if tokens aren't used, and I could see why because they might overcomplicate things, I don't think game modes should be locked behind real life money. They should either cost J bucks in game or they should be completely free. Or they should involve some other form of currency that players can get without having to spend real money. I also think it would be cool if game mode winners were compensated with some sort of prize. Whether it be cash or some kind of exclusive reward like cosmetics or even a new vehicle. This way people are rewarded for participating and it could scale on the amount of people playing. For example, if only two people were playing, maybe the winner would get 4,000 J-Bucks. But if there were 20 people playing, then the winner would get 20,000 J-Bucks. Another issue I had with game modes was how infrequently they were added. There was promise of more game modes and stuff added, but it took a very long time for just two more game modes to be added. I think if they were to re-add game modes, they should be added at a more frequent pace. Imagine if we got them every season. I think that would be a decent amount of time, or maybe even three months. It would also be cool if the game modes could line up with the theme of the season. Like for this one, we could get a type of racing game mode. I think the alien invasion and the jet ski racing were really good ideas, but there's definitely more you could do. One idea I had for game mode was robbery racing. All the players who agreed would have to race to see who can rob the most robberies in the shortest amount of time. Or flood escape. Imagine if the whole map was flooding and there was a zone that was kind of cutting off portions of the map, kind of like what happened with Battle Royale. But I do think the pace of game mode addition should be increased if the devs ever bring them back. Finally, another big problem I had with game modes was how they were really, really tedious to play. If you didn't want to buy a VIP server, then you had an option of using a token, and if almost everybody in the server voted yes, then it would initiate a game mode. The problem is, it needed a lot of people to activate this, and I can't count the amount of times I got like 24 out of 25 people to say yes, but one guy just screwed it up for everybody. I think fundamentally a big problem with that was how game modes forced everybody in the server to play. The way I would change this is I would have the people who want to play the game modes actually play them instead of forcing everyone to do it. Now this would be a bit complicated. Maybe all the people who vote yes or use a token would be teleported to another server and then the game mode would take place there. I would personally prefer if the game modes took place in the same server but the people who didn't want to play wouldn't have to play and they wouldn't be affected at all. This is exactly what Mad City did when they added game modes a couple years ago and I think it would work perfectly. All the people who chose to could play the game mode, but people who wanted to just keep playing the game normally would not be interrupted. I get this would be a tricky feature to code in, and I think the easier option would probably be to have the game mode take place in a separate server. There are definitely workarounds. If game modes are brought back, this is something that should absolutely be addressed, as in my opinion, it is one of the biggest problems with them. But yeah, I definitely think game modes should come back, and I would love if they do. But there are some big problems with how they were originally added that I think should be hammered out before the devs try to add them again. But those are just my thoughts. What do you think are the big problems with game modes? Would you like to see them return? Which game modes would you like to see? Make sure to let me know all your thoughts in the comments. And someone just popped their tires. But yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.